Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want us to solve this question in mathematics paper 2 under trigonometry. Okay, so this is 2022 mathematics paper 2. So we start the diagram below, and the question is calculate the angle ABC. Calculate the angle ABC, which means we are looking for this angle, which is here. Now, when I've been given all the three sides, like here, they are, you know, like the kit is in this question. When I've been given all the three sides, simply means that you are using the cosine rule. There are two, two situations in which you use the cosine rule. One of it is when I've been given all the three sides, and the other one is when I've been given two sides. For example, if, have, if you don't have this side, so when I've been given two sides with one angle at the middle, like that. So in this case, since I've been given all the three sides, we are using the cosine rule. So you need to make the formula according to the sides given and the angle which we are looking for. So in this case, we are looking for angle B, which is here. Okay, so we are going to express in terms of B. So we're going to start with B because we're looking for angle B. So we have B squared. So we have B squared is equal to A squared plus C squared minus 2ac then cos b so we have b squared is equals to a squared plus 2ac then you multiply by the cos b so because we're looking for angle b that is why we have started with it b okay we have side b we have side a we have side c what we're looking for is this cos b okay so i will start from this side so where there is b okay capital letter b represent an angle so the opposite side will be represented by the small letter b c the opposite side represented by small letter c and the a the opposite side is represented by the small letter a so in this case when i say b which is a small letter, you have to get the opposite side of this B, which is 2.8. So we have 2.8 squared, which is equals to A squared, which is 2.5. So we have 2.5 squared plus C squared, which is 1 squared. And then minus, we have 2A so a is representing the 2.5 so we have 2.5 times c which is one and then it times the cos b we don't have the cos b is the one we want to find we don't have cos b so we need to be to use the calculator properly so we have 2.80 squared so 2.80 squared we have 7.84 so here we have 7.84 which is equals to 2.5 squared 2.5 squared giving us 6.25 6.25 then we have one square which is one okay then you can simplify this at the same time so there are two ways to do it you can get the sign or you can leave the sign Okay, so here we have 2.5 times the 2 times 1, which is just giving us the 5. So we have plus 5, okay, minus 5, then cos b. Okay, so we collect like terms. Okay, first we can add these two because they are like terms. So we have 7.84, which is equals to... 6.25 plus 1, we are getting 7.25, 7.25, so 7.25, then minus 5V cos B. We collect like terms, because we cannot subtract these two, they are not like terms. So the 7.25 is going the other side of the equation, okay, so we have 7.84 minus 7.25 which is equals to negative 5 cos b okay so we subtract this so we have 7.84 7.84 minus 
7.84 minus 7.25 minus C 7.25 so 7.25 is giving us 0 0.59 so we have 0 0.59 is equals to negative 5 cos B we are still looking for cos B so we divide by negative 5 even there by negative 5 so this one this one goes so 0 0.59 divided by negative 5 giving us here negative 0 0.118 which is equals to cos b so we're still looking for cos b this is the same as the just switch these two so cos b is equals to negative 0 0.118 Eight. So we are still looking for B in this case Specifically we just want an angle B Not cos B So the cos will have to go the other side Now whenever these three ratios Either the cos, the sine or the tan Goes the other side It becomes the inverse So we remain with B this side Is equals to The cos goes the other side And it becomes the, the inverse So cos inverse Then you write this number Which is negative 0 0.11 Eight. Okay, so negative 0 0.118. So we want to know the value of that number. So for you to find the answer, you have to go for you to find this inverse. You have to go on the calculator, you press shift, depend with the calculator which you are using. So others have shift, others have the second function either way. So you press shift and you place where cos is place where cos is it will bring the cos inverse okay to bring the cos inverse so after cos inverse you write this number do not put anything write it the way it is so this is negative do not leave space do not do what just say right the way it is so that is negative 0 0.118 okay negative 0 0.118 and place equals which is giving us b is equals to 96 Point seven seven six six okay kilometers. Now answers must always be left in three significant figures according to the instructions which are found in maths uh, on the maths paper there, so at the cover page. So you have to leave it in three significant figures one two three. Okay, so if the round if the rounded digit is more than four, we have to get one and add it to the number we have just. Uh, you know, cross to this line. So we are going to get one and add to this becomes nine six point eighty kilometers. So you say therefore the oh, oh this is an angle it's degrees. It's an angle, so it's degrees, so degrees. So we have therefore angle A B C is equals to ninety six point eighty degrees. Okay, so this is how we tackle this question is as easy as that solving this will cost you five marks you're going to have five marks for that question thank you so much for watching you can subscribe if it's your first time to watch my videos for more videos thank you so much